Hi guys, happy December. Uh, I'm popping in for just a quick minute to share with you my Classics-a-thon TBR. It's December 2nd as of filming this. I am in the last like 10 days of my semester. Classics-a-thon started yesterday. I did not start Classics-a-thon yesterday. I won't start Classics-a-thon until after the semester ends, but I thought I would put up my TBR anyway and just kind of like commit myself to doing it because I think otherwise I would would sort of just be like, eh. But I want to keep reading after school is over and I'm really excited to have the chance to get to some of these books, which I have wanted to get to for a while. So Classics-a-thon is hosted by Lucy the Reader and this is the Christmas version. So it lasts for the whole month of December and there are four challenges. So I'll mention the challenges as I go through each of the books. And if you want to know more about Classics-a-thon, I will link Lucy's announcement video in my description. So go check that out. She's a great, um, especially if you like classics, she's a great, great person to watch. The first thing to do is to read a classic. So I'm going to read this classic. This is Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. I read The Tenant of Wildfell Hall earlier this year and I loved it so much. This is about a young governess named Agnes Grey. She comes to her new position as a governess filled with ideas about education and child rearing and finds that they don't work out so well in practice. Uh, and then while she's kind of struggling through that whole problem with her job, she is also kind of starting to have feelings for uh, the local curate. Yeah, so a uh, curate is like a church job. Mr. What's his name? Mr. Weston. She's starting to have feelings for Mr. Weston. So. That's the story, it's quite short. All of the books that I picked are very short, so that's great. The next challenge is to read a Christmas classic, which also, duh. So last year I read A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and Dickens wrote five Christmas stories that are kind of like novella length, they're about 100 pages. And when I read A Christmas Carol, I just enjoyed it so much, and it really put me into the kind of mood for the Christmas season. And so I decided that I would try to read uh, one of his Christmas stories every year until I had read them all. And to that end, I will be reading the second of his Christmas stories. It's called The Chimes. I found when I went to buy, because I had A Christmas Carol on audio, so I needed a hardcover, like I'm, I wanted a real book. Um, this is volume one of two volumes. It's a Penguin English Library edition from the 1970s. It's great. It has the orange spine, which makes me so happy. And I have volume one and volume two. This is volume one, which has a Christmas Carol and the Chimes, and then volume two has the other three. So I'm set for the next five years. Maybe I'll make it like a habit to do every year. So this year I'm reading the Chimes. I have no idea what it's about. Christmas and some bells, apparently. Uh, then the next challenge was to read a children's classic. And so for that, I decided to read The Silver Chair. This isn't particularly Christmassy, but I had been rereading The Chronicles of Narnia, I think earlier this year, or maybe like at the end of last year. I can't remember, it's all a blur. And I got through The Voyage of the Dawn Treader before I kind of petered out. And the next book is The Silver Chair, so I would like to reread it. Um, this is definitely a reread. I've read it a bunch of times. You might be able to tell if you, <laughs> check out my lovely broken spine. I've had these um, for 20 years now. And then the final challenge was to read a translated classic. And this was actually kind of challenging for me because I didn't want to have to buy any more books than I, just the, the Dickens ones, which I would have bought anyway and I got used for like $4. But I also didn't want to read a really long one because time. And so this is what I came up with. It's basically, I was pulling from the pool of cl translated classics that I already had. Um, my other options were like The Brothers Karamazov, which is 700 pages long, or Secret Unset's Kristen Labyrinth's Daughter, which actually feels kind of Christmassy, but is a thousand pages long, and I'm not going to commit to anything like that. So we're reading Therese Raquin by Emile Zola. He's a French writer, in case you couldn't guess. Um, and this is about adultery and murder. So the whole Christmas spirit just flaring up right there. It's gonna be great. I picked it because it was short and I've been wanting to read it for a while, so why not read about adultery and murder for a little while? Uh, 
So anyway, that is my Christmas classics of on TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read any of these books or if any of these books are on your TBR. I'd love to talk about them. Um, and shoot me a thing in the comments, words. Shoot me a note in the comments if you are also participating in classics of on. I'd love to uh, see your TBRs also and just get ideas. This was like what I came up with in five minutes because again, school. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> okay, I'm done now.